morning welcome back to my channel we have a full day ahead of us i have a to-do list of things to get done today and i'm gonna take you guys along with me sort of a get it all done with me type video i have some kitchen stuff to do some organizing tidying cleaning stuff to do as well as some errands and appointments so join me for a productive day even though this video is called a get it all done with me video i'm not <laughs> expecting to get it all done because i do have a lot on my list and so i am lowering my expectations a little bit recognizing that i am expecting i have a toddler things don't always go according to plan we're gonna be flexible but i do hope that you find some inspiration maybe some motivation here through this video and through my channel if you're new i'd love for you to subscribe and join the journey this morning we've just been having kind of a normal morning breakfast waking up we like to take our mornings a little bit more slowly around here getting dressed getting ready for the day and then next on my agenda I typically will clean up the kitchen from breakfast so I'm gonna do that in a minute as well as get some food prepping is that your puppy so thank you for joining me today I hope that you enjoy this video yesterday there was some This one is lots of spinach, some pineapple, a little bit of berries, Greek yogurt, and some orange juice. It's a little teensy bit sour, I think the pineapple, but it's good nonetheless. It is about 8.40. I'm going to get started on dinner. I love to do this on busy days. Slow cooker meals for the win. They just save me so many times when I know that our afternoons are going to be busier. So I'm going to try a new recipe. It's a butter chicken recipe. I'm curious to see how it turns out. I think I'll have some nan bread with it, maybe some broccoli, rice. We also have some company staying with us tonight and I think they'll be here for dinner. So I'm gonna make sure I have enough for them. And Danny is just happily playing right now. I love setting out just a few toys for him in the morning because I find that just occupies him for a bit if I have to get some things done. So here I have my coconut milk, Greek yogurt, garlic, ginger, a lot of spices. I'm gonna pour this <coughs> over my chicken that's already in my slow cooker with some onion. Hand in hand, then I'm gonna just put a little bit of butter on top. And then just gonna cook it on low all day. That was super easy. If you want the recipe, comment down below and I can share the link with you on low. There we go. Ooh. Okay, real quick, I thought I would share just a little bit of a room update because we've been making some changes here in the nursery in preparation for baby number two. So if you may remember, this crib is Danny's crib. It used to be against this wall. But since we're going to be adding another little person in here eventually, we wanted to have space for a second crib. Totally sure when they will be room sharing. It won't be for a few months, obviously, after baby is here. But I thought it would be good to just get the space kind of prepared for that. Probably set up the crib so that it's in here, which we did already get a crib. We scored one on Marketplace, which was awesome. And then something else that I've been wanting to add is a little like side table dresser right here and I got this one on marketplace I've been looking for so long and then finally found one that is the perfect size it's actually the Ikea oh I forget which one it's an Ikea one but the wood is actually um, unfinished so my plan is to stain it I'm not exactly sure what color yet but I want it to be a little bit more contrasted with the crib colors so my original plan was to have one crib here one crib here and sort of reconfigure this wall maybe move this picture 
put something like above each of their cribs, maybe their names or something. And then I also think I'm going to sort of redo our laundry situation because I'll need a bigger basket for two babies. And the whole stool thing, I don't know, I think I might just sort of re reconfigure some things in here. And we already have a few little baby outfits that were a gift, so that's so sweet. So stay tuned, let me know what color you think would be good for this. I'm looking at kind of a wax, a wax stain. Not too dark, but just to sort of bring out the natural grain and make it a little bit darker than the crib, but like not, not this dark. And then I will of course add some more decor, but just for now I have our humidifier on here. going to this little play center that I love to take Danny. We were in that area of town and so they have just all of this. It's like a community center. You don't pay anything. They have all of these toys and especially now that he is so close to walking, he's definitely crawling. He can just go around to the different stations and play and play with other kids and it's just such a fun time. And then I actually ended up running into a mom from church there so that was cool. We got to chat for a while and it was just a really sweet time. So we're we're home now, we had lunch, it's nap time, and I'm going to do some baking. I have some pumpkin squares that I want to make to take to a lunch tomorrow. Silas has football tomorrow, and then after we're going to some friend's house, and I'm gonna bring them along. It's a new recipe to me. I've had them because my sister-in-law makes them. She gave me the recipe, and so I'm gonna try my hand at it. Got some coffee fuel to get us going. This is when I start to crash this time in the afternoon. So we're just going to take it easy. I'm going to drink my coffee, do some baking. I've also recently been really enjoying listening to audiobooks during this sort of nap time when I'm just doing some things around the house. I find it just really helps to one, like make good use of my time, even though I am doing things that are profitable. It's just sort of a cherry on top because I get to work my way through a book and it's just really enjoyable. I'm learning so much that way when I don't necessarily have a ton of time to actually sit down and read. That's something that I am still working into my habits to do more, but audiobooks are a really great idea. sounds crazy to say but these little wool <laughs> pom-pom balls are absolutely our favorite toy and have been for a few weeks now i find them all over the house but danny just loves to play with them <laughs> and i feel like there's so many things you can do with them it's so simple but you can put them inside things you can of course roll them and throw them i have this little like peg hammer toy but he is always just putting these little pom-poms on like that. It's just so cute to see what he comes up with. And I know that they'll be super fun for different sensory activities when he's older. So I'll link them down below if you're interested. Ooh, I just heard the timer for our pumpkin square. So let's go check them out. Okay, let's see. Mm, not quite, we'll go for a couple more minutes. love to know your opinion. I have this cute little wooden shelf that I thrifted a few months ago, I want to say, and I would love to hang it somewhere in this play area. And I'm just having the hardest time deciding if I should leave it this color, first of all, or paint it. I am leaning towards painting it, but the question is what color? 
At first I thought like a fun yellow because we have this shelf up here that's a forest green. So I thought maybe a yellow or a light blue. I'm going to put a couple color options here on the screen. I would love for you to vote in the comments. Let me know which one you should you think I should paint it. I want it to be fun for the playroom, but I don't want it to be too in your face or stand out too much. Okay, got interrupted because the pumpkin squares are done now and cooling. All that to say, let me know what color you think I should paint this. I would love to hear your input. I'm also not sure where it should go. I'm thinking somewhere on this wall right here, this um, like cubicle thing, I don't think we're gonna keep here. It was just something we had already, but I think we can find something to optimize storage here. But I think something like this would be cute. We'll play around with it and see. But I do love to just tidy up this area a couple of times a day because Danny will come down here and play. And then when he's napping, I like to just give it a tidy. So if he comes back down, it's kind of reset for him. After a lovely walk it is gorgeous out the sun is just wonderful and it's actually a little bit warmer than i thought so <laughs> it was warm when we got home i changed into a t-shirt and i'm just making up some nando for our chicken um for our butter chicken and then i think i'm just gonna cook some broccoli to go with it i'm not sure exactly i have like the costco frozen broccoli i'll just do that quickly and then put some sort of seasoning on it. But I'm trying to think of like what seasonings would go with butter chicken. I'm not too sure, so I might have to look that up. But this is my dough. It's just flour, baking powder, a little bit of salt, and Greek yogurt. And I'm going to mix it together and make some man bread. exhausted from the day even though we didn't get everything done i feel like this video should have been called a try to get it all done with me because there were definitely a few things on my list that we just didn't get to that's okay we can save those things for tomorrow or for another day i'm finding this pregnancy i'm so much more tired and i get exhausted much more easily so i'm just learning to let some things go not worry about getting absolutely everything done but i hope that you were able to glean at least some encouragement or motivation from this video i hope that you enjoyed it i was also going to mention that the butter chicken recipe actually turned out really good i will definitely be making that again it wasn't too strong i was kind of worried that it would be a really really strong flavor but it wasn't it was a bit more mild and even danny liked it too so that was a win and also the pumpkin squares did turn out really well. I'm excited to take them tomorrow for our friends. Let me know if you would like either of those recipes. I will share them with you. Just comment down below if you want them. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.